This episode of Spot On is brought to you by our royal wedding sponsors, the Bees Knees British Imports, the British Hamper Company, Quaintly & Company, Rose Tree Cottage, and the Whale and Ale British Pub in San Pedro, California. Hi everyone, I'm Marlies. And I'm Elise, and this is Spot On in front of Kensington Palace. In London, where the whole town is buzzing about the royal wedding. We're oh, so the excited. Scuttlebutt. Oh my goodness. We're wearing our tiaras in honor of the royal wedding because everyone wants to be an American princess like Meghan Markle. True. Today we get to visit Victoria Grant at her hat shop in Notting Hill. Victoria Grant is a noted hat designer and she's apparently dressing a lot of the royal wedding guests. Here's Elise with Victoria Grant. Victoria Grant, welcome to the Anglophile channel. Your atelier is absolutely magical. Now, are you milliner to the stars? Thank you. Well, <laughs> w welcome to my atelier. It's lovely to have you. Um, yeah, I have been, I've, I've done a lot of hats for a lot of really amazing, wild and fabulous people from sort of royal society circles to rock royalty. There's everyone that we've done from yes. Beyonce to Madonna to Rihanna. So you don't drop names, you drop heads. We drop heads, <laughs> yes. yes, exactly. Okay, and you have such creative hats all around us. Now you're known for your whimsical style. So has that brought people, you think, from the more creative milieu to your door? Actually, interestingly, whilst we are known for our whimsical style, and a lot of the hats are very art-based and very um, avant-garde and high fashion. We also do very kind of classic, beautiful, sophisticated elegance for one generation, as well as the really rock and roll for the other. And I love that because it really kind of makes my world rich, having those two sort of uh, arenas to play within and not being restricted to just one category. We've noticed that in Britain, it just seems to be the custom to wear a hat to a wedding. Exactly. So, I mean, thank God for me, yes. In, a, in England, most people wear hats to weddings, which is wonderful. Um, and we'd really like for you to start doing that in America as well. You have styled some heads for the royal wedding that's coming up. Is there something that is like off limits? It's a very big deal to me um, to ensure that my, my clients are appropriately dressed to whatever they go to. As much as I love to be really avant-garde, and at times very risque with my work for Madonna. When it comes to the royal wedding, it's really important to honor tradition. Um, and you know, this is history. Yes. We are currently making history. So I think it's really important that people will enjoy looking back at the photos for, you know, centuries to come. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go with things that are really classic and elegant and beautiful and sophisticated and don't look dated in a few decades time. I'm seeing more kind of classic colours, I suppose lots of muted colours and then your royal reds and oh, your purples. Beautiful. I've got a really deep-seated love and passion for British heritage and actually my, da my dad is very involved in lots of sort of pomp and ceremony events. He's a member of the, he's a pikeman with the Pikemen and Musketeers which you should wow. know about. I guess. <laughs> um, so I've sort of been, I've been brought up watching my dad Kind of come down in these most incredible cloaks with tassels everywhere. Oh my gosh, that's an inspiration to exactly. you. Exactly. Yes. So this is a wedding to an American. Yes. You know, all your British heritage and a girl from LA. Do you think that changes the tone of the wedding a little bit? Do you think it makes it a little less formal? I think that Meghan and Harry would prefer for it to be a little less formal. I mean, they mm. come across as being very, very down to earth um, and really, they appear to really have a genuine connection with the public. Um, so I think that they are, I think they both seem very humble in wanting to make it a, quite a down to, down to earth affair. But then of course we are England and we yes. must have a fabulous royal wedding which will go down in history. So I think it's probably gonna be a really elegant balance of the two. Is there a hat amongst your collection you would love to see on Meghan Markle's head? She looks really pretty in white. I've got lots of ivory hats going on at the moment. Yeah, I love the ivory. You've got top hats, you've got floral hats. Yeah. And some beautiful colors. And I've noticed that for royal weddings, people do tend to dress in a very conservative manner, yeah. but a little personality comes out the top of their head. Yes. So is that something you take into account when you're designing for someone? I think hats instantly have and give personality. That is, I'm yes. glad you mentioned that because it is the sort of, 
it's the one area where you really can allow a bit of a story to come in. And you can be, because hats sort of have this formal connotation, which I'm forever trying to break and, uh, you know, sort of open them out to, to be worn at every everyday affairs. Now, when you see, you know, the, the gates opening and the, the cameras going into the church for a royal wedding and you see your hats, does that give you a thrill? It is very exciting. I mean, I am, I've been doing this for 11 years, so I'm, I'm somewhat used to it. But for an occasion like this, it will be really special to sort of be there in some way. You hear people say, I don't have a face for a hat. Do you think that's true? Do you think there are any royals that, because we always see royals in hats, they always look fabulous. It's, Is there a face that doesn't go with a hat? Absolutely not. There nope. we go. It's just about finding the correct hat that suits you. We were, we're gonna put this out there. If you're wearing the wrong hat, come to Victoria. Yes, Come do. to Victoria. To. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look around your atelier. Great. What can you show us yeah. here? Would you not wear a, a white or ivory hat to the royal wedding? Would that be a no-no because you don't want to compete with the bride? You can, you can wear, it, it's a sensitive one, you can wear an ivory hat to the wedding, but in that case, I would I would not let you wear a veil, even a little bit of veil, because you know that's just that's that's for the bride. Yes. Well, obviously, you're very into your history, so yes. I thought it might be interesting to talk about this portrait painted by Lorna May Wadsworth and was exhibited at the Philip Mould Gallery. Yes, um, I read about that. Yeah, and uh, within that collaboration, we were featuring 15th century portrait miniatures on the hats and. So it was um, very delicate work. Very delicate. You're, you're taken with the Queen Victoria, yes. which is indeed from the collaboration I just mentioned. Okay, and I've noticed this one with the tassel, so there's movement to that hat, so that would be yeah. a different kind of occasion. And this one has a bit of history it as does. well. It does, yes. This is the heist, um, which has been worn by Madonna, and um, yeah, I think it speaks for itself, really. It's, sort of... it's gorgeous. <laughs> Don't it's be another afraid, Queen Try Victoria. It on. May I? Of course. Oh my gosh. Absolutely. So I feel like a different person in this hat. I'm going to stand straighter. I'm going to have more confidence. And now I need a new dress. Thank you so much for opening your atelier to the Anglophile channel. Thank you for letting me have this perched on my head for a while. And we wish you so much success with your amazing hat. And we hope someday to come with our credit card in hand and just clear you right out. <laughs> so. Thank you, thank you so much for coming. It's lovely to meet you. It's lovely to meet you too. You look fantastic in those hats, I must say. Uh, an expensive hat does something for a girl. Okay. I think yeah. so. So I think, uh, well, I think it, it remains to be seen if we're going to be dressed by Victoria Grant for the royal wedding, but if not, uh, we do have our tiaras, but I don't think these are big enough. I think we need bigger, splashier tiaras, and we're in just the place to find them. I think we're going to go inside and go tiara shopping. Yes. Won't you join us? Do you think they have a clearance rack? <laughs>